How to use Photopea to colour your images for your KDP low content books. Hi, I'm Kerry from Dream Creator B and welcome to my channel where we show you how to make money online with KDP low content books, Etsy and affiliate marketing with new training every week. So be sure to hit the big red subscribe button down below. So today what I'm showing you to do is how to actually colour in images using Photopea. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I was asked by one of my subscribers, the flip flop files, who says, is there a free program you can use to color in mandalas or change images? Well, this video will be showing you how to color in mandalas. And in my last video, which will be on the right hand side in the right hand card, I actually showed you how to mask images in Photopea so that you could create a unique coloring book and we'll go back to that showing you how to mask an image again and then how to actually color that one in as well because there's a slight changes you have to do to the actual image in order to color it in. So what I've got here is I've got a PNG file. All I did was a drag and drop it into Photopea. So why are we using Photopea? Well Photopea is free. It's free because it uses AdSense to actually make its income. You can actually manage preferences and you can actually pay to remove those images like an app. But it is a fantastic tool because there is so much you can do with it and it saves like Photoshop files. As you can see, it says PSD there, even though it's PNG and it opens up loads of other files like PNGs, SVGs and PDFs, which you can then use to edit. So here we are on this image that we're going to recolor. In fact, we'll only do a bit of it because I want to show you different tools. So we are here and we're on the background layer. Now we're going to use a couple of tools on this side. Now our first tool that we want to use is a magic wand tool and it's actually located here in this funny kidney shaped image that says object selection. If you click on the little arrow that's a drop down, if you click there, if you click on it, it should give you a magic wand and it does it gives you the drop down magic wand and select so that's what we want another one that we're going to want is the paint bucket tool which is here in this gradient tool so again click on the little drop down and it will wake up eventually and then select the paint bucket tool and then we are going to change the color of our image by clicking on here and then changing whatever we want. So let's go around and select what we want to do. Now if we can't see that we can actually zoom in and we can either zoom in by using the magnifying glass there and just clicking on it and it zooms in or we can use this navigator here and again that brings it up or down. So that's what we can do there. So here what I want to do is go into the magic wand tool and I want to select all the centers here so I can recolor them to yellow. So I can select them all at once and the way I do that is I click on the first selection and it gives me running ants. So you might not be able to actually see them but I'll zoom in later and show you. Then I'm going to hold the shift key down on my keyboard and then I'm just going to click with the in the center of all of these so that I can recolor all the centers of that I've clicked off one of them. So let's redo that. And I've done it again. It's every time I come to this side, I'm just going to. Deselect. Now to deselect you press Ctrl D or Command D on your keyboard depending on whether you're a Mac or a Windows. Shift. And again because it's on the internet it is cloud based so you can be using this with any uh, operating system. So if you're Windows, Macs, Linux, as long as you can get on the internet you can be using this software so that's another benefit
I think I've got a wrong selector. You might be able to just make out now I've zoomed in the running ants there. Now what I want is another layer. I want to put my colours on a different layer to the actual image. So down at the bottom here you've got this little fold up. These are all different things that you can use. But that's the one we want that makes us new layer. If you don't find it you can also do layer and then new. So if you just click there it gives us a new layer. And now I want to actually change this colour and I'm going to go to yellow because most flower centres are yellow and then I'm going to click on my bucket tool and I'm just going to click in one of the selected areas and it should colour them all in. So as you can see it's coloured all of those and it's kept it on that layer because if I take the light, the eye off should I say, you can't see the colour. Okay, and the reason why I've done that is so that if I want to edit it and change it, I can. And I can also rename this layer from layer one. All I do is double click it. And now here I can put yellow flower background. So I can name it whatever I want. And then I need to go back to this layer where the image is to actually select something else. So what I could do is I could change the whole background here. So again, I can click on the magic wand tool and just select any of the white area and there'll be running ants going right round. And again, I want a new layer. So I just click on the bottom there, new layer. I'm going to change the colour. I might have this one here. And then... And it's now changed all the colour for me because I've gone on to the new layer and here I can put colour background. So again I can go and change whatever I want to change. So again I can say create a new layer. I'll leave that there. And then I can change I can select one of the flowers. So I can select this flower here and holding the shift key I can select all its petals. And then I can maybe choose a red. And then I can use the bucket tool, but make sure I'm on that new layer one. And it paints that for me. So, and again, I can rename it and I can call that red flower. So, choose a new layer. background and that can be colored in. I can do all these leaves if I wanted. So I can, again, magic wand tool, shift, will select that. I've got the running ants going there. I don't want the running ants on that one. So I'm going to go command D. Then I'm going to click on my first one and then hold the shift. So you, you've just got to make sure that the running ants are switched off anything that you don't want to be colorized. So got the new layer and change the colour. Then make back it to and just click in one of them. And there we go. So that is the start of being able to add colour to an image that you've already got. That's black and white or line art that you want to create. But what if you wanted to mask your images like we did in the previous video? If you haven't seen that video, the link will be either in the top right hand corner or down in the description. And that was about how to mask an image. So I'll create a quick one here. So I'm going to open up a unicorn, which is a silhouette that I'm going to actually mask. So I'm going to grab hold of that. And this is the unicorn that I want to mask. And then I want to put in this garden mandala. So I'm going to open this. And the problem with this image is, is it has got a 
transparent background, which I don't actually want. So to get rid of that quickly, rather than selecting it and painting, all I need to do is actually flatten it. So if I right click on the background image, it will let me flatten the image. So now it's flattened. I need to unlock it because I'm actually going to move it. And I'm going to use this move tool here. So I'm going to grab hold of the move tool, drag and drop. Now it has gone absolutely huge on my image. So what I need to do is I need to actually free transform it. So I can either go edit and just click free transform or I can use the shortcut keys which it tells me there. So I'm just going to drag in the corner using the four boxes. In fact, I'm going to make this a bit smaller so I can actually see what I'm doing. And I'm just going to drag in to the corner. And that should be that. And now what I want to just do is I just want to create a clipping mask. So I right click on that background image, it's created a clipping mask. And then what I want to do is I want to put a stroke around the unicorn. So I click on the unicorn image, right click, blending options, click where it says stroke here. And if this color, the stroke is not the right color or not the right size, I just make sure I click on a stroke menu and I can change the pixel size on the outside or inside. I can change the blend so it's normal or it dissolves or it does an overlay. So I can change all those and that's my fill colour is black. But I can't just start going onto the background here and start selecting areas to colour. It simply does not work. So to get around that, if I've got all these, all I do is, is click on this background one here, which is the unicorn. So it's my main image. Right click on it and just flatten image. And now it's given me this here. So now what I can do is once I unlock it, I can select somewhere that I want to paint. So I can select this here. I'm using the red box here to direct myself where I want to go. So say I wanted to colour that flower in. Again, I just use the magic wand tool. I would click here. It selected all the area I want. I wouldn't mind using orange, so I could change that colour. And I can change it with the RGB or hex code if I've got a certain colour palette that I want to use on it. I can be doing that by changing that there. So I can click here. I've already selected it. What I want is a new layer again so that I can be colouring on, on the new layer. Paint box and it should give me that. And can then do a new layer, but this time go in somewhere else. So I can go in here and choose all of these greeny leafy areas. And again, I'm holding the shift key down, so I'm actually selecting all the ones that I want. This is the only problem with this is you can't actually see the running ants very clearly. And then I've gone on to layer two where I want to actually colour, change my colours here. Lighter green I'll have. Click OK. Again, use the paint bucket tool. Make sure it's in one of the areas where the running ants is. And that has coloured that in for me. And of course you can group them as well. So I'll show you how to do that when we've coloured this flower in. So I'm going to go a new layer. This time I'm going to choose inside the flower. So I'm going to shift key down. Can't see it. Shift. I'm not on the right layer. I need to be back on background. Magic wand tool selected. Hold the shift key. And again, go back to layer three where I want the colour. Go back to that orange and then I'm going to work my way out. 
then. So it's got a slightly different orange color. Again, go back to the background because I want to choose this one. So it's inside. Magic wand. Choose a new layer. I'm going to go again with slightly out color that. I think I might change that one. So it does contrast a bit. Okay, and the reason why I could do that, change that color so quickly, is because it's already selected and I'm on the right layer. So again, go background, click in the middle, new layer. This time I can want it to be a yellow. Click OK. And then paint. And that's that flower done. Now what I can do is I can actually group these into a folder. So there's a folder here, so I can go new folder and I can name it flower one. And then all I do is just drag all of these. So it's inside that layer there. So that I know that if I want to change any colors there, I can do, and again, I can rename these so that can be in a middle be yellow middle double click on it again to orange please and then outer inner orange you can call that so that's all the layers named and it is grouped so that is how you would go about doing your coloring in on the masking that we have done um, i hope you find this video useful any questions don't forget to put them down in the comments i do answer them anything i can help you with just put them down in the comments if you like this video please hit the like button and the subscribe button to be notified about any other videos i make and also don't forget to check out my video i made about actually masking in powerpoint thank you for watching if you have any questions go and watch the video again or ask questions in the comments over on the right hand side there are some training and review videos if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe to be notified about any new videos on my channel